evening losers YouTube everybody this is the shirtless jerk just jack um I said I wasn't going to do it anymore and I'll go ahead and just put myself out there and saying until I get a new job I will not be able to trade anymore um I put out and me and uh, Nolan Sanger was uh, making plans to trade, but I'm just not going to be able to do it, dude. Um, I just won't be able to. I don't have any money, won't have any prospects of getting any money up until I get a new job. Um, now it's on to bigger, better things. I've got a commission through a comic book, dude, want me to do a comic book. And uh, you know stuff like that. So I'm still being, still gonna be active and whatnot. And so yeah. Um, now like I say, on to bigger and better things. That was my Diet Mountain Dew bottle I just put over in the garbage. Um, on to bigger, better things that I said. I will still be customizing whenever I can get the chance to get figures. Um. It'll be slow and far and few between unless I use the uh, figures that I've already got. I've still got some uh, animated stuff, got some other things going on and whatnot. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, Cousin was nice enough to get me a Transformers Prime Wheeljack. And since Mr. Plastic Robot had a contest set up and he said I could enter as many times as I wanted to which is a good deal but the two entries that I ended up having wasn't all that grand um, I think they were pretty much cheating because they were old videos and this new one right uh, this figure right here I decided to dirty up and I think he's gonna be a better entry I have dirtied up the wheel jack you notice right along there I've scraped up the paint with some white added some dark in there to show dirt and dust and grime and grit and got it all the way up this side too you could uh, you can see all that nice grit and grime I should have uh, dirtied up the wheels a little but I love the shiny I love the shiny I might still do something to those tires after all and do an update on this but uh yeah see all the way around and he still transforms let me pop his blades off oh yeah I'll show the bottom uh, in the cartoon the blades had red hilts to them so I dirtied up some red hilts and made some uh greasy grimy marks like he's just got through laying the smack it down on some uh uh, Decepticons. All right, show you a close-up of the blade here. See, I've got some dirty black on it, showing that he's done cut through some uh Decepticons, and he's got his sh uh, his swords dirty. All right, and basic transformation is basic. Split that apart, split that apart, that comes loose, that comes loose, I said that comes loose, be messed up if this is an epic fail like the first one, the first one was too long, it took me too long to transform the figure, but uh, I was transforming from a uh, robot to car and that's a little bit more difficult because you gotta smoosh everything together and get everything to work. And uh, I couldn't get it to fit together too well. Um, at any rate, um, I think it's easier to change him from car to robot than what it is from robot to car. Because, like I say, you've got to push everything together and get everything to fit right and like that, get his arms situated like so, and like so, and 
split this right here. And then, let's see. What did I do? Okay, that goes around like so. Folds up and around. And then the foot. And then that bit right there. And then the same on this leg. And I'm doing this all off camera. Um, I don't know how to edit videos or stuff. And stuff like that. I'm, I'm sure someone's gonna sit there. Well, oh, what do you ought to do with this program or that program? I don't care. Um, I'm basically gonna say it. I get tired of people trying to tell me this is how you're supposed to do something, or I'm tired. I'm tired of saying that this is this way or that is that way, and uh. So I try to be the one that uh, just stays calm with what he does and gets along that way. Um, this is the finished um, wheel jack right here. Uh, as you can see on his feet, I did the little white stripe on it like from the cartoon. Um, did a little decoration here on the cod piece, crotch piece. Uh, it's not gonna pick it up too well unless, yeah, you see the little white, uh, the little red decoration up there, and then something that other people was my, uh, was crying about. He don't have a Autobot symbol. Mine does. I dirty painted it with a small, br uh, with a small toothpick. If you can see that, once again, my camera is not that grand. Don't care. At least it's better than that shitty piece of crap that I had in the uh, Jazz HD. <laughs> and uh, I've also got these pieces up here painted in red up there. So, yeah. This is my entry into Mr. Ro uh, Mr. Plastic Robot's contest. It is Battle Damage Jack, or uh, Battle Damage Wheel Jack with custom painted Autobot symbol. Looks like he's ready to go back into battle and cut him up some more uh, Decepticons. And this has been Just Jack the Shirtless Jerk from DeviantArt.com saying art matters. Not trading until I get more money. It wouldn't be right for you guys to wait for me to get off my ass and get a job. So I will not trade until I get a new job or way to get money. Still being cool. Hoping everybody digs the uh, custom. Jake the Snake Rotundo, I'm looking for you, bro. If I've got to, if I got to sling my ass across country and come to your house. I will see you. Anyway, I'm out of here, guys. Later.